kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be an interesting series on uh, professional sound recorder using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So it is uh, an open source project, and you can uh, get it. But I will teach you how you can create it, and I will also give you concepts about different things. Alright, so uh, you will uh, learn a lot of things from this app. so let's get started okay guys so i have uh, divided this video series into 17 parts so this video series will contain almost 17 or 18 parts all right so i will uh, start okay so first of all i want to give you uh, a schedule of how the things will work so first of all here you can see we i have divided it, it, it into 17 parts so first of all as this is the part one so i will give you the demo then we will create the project and we will add some dependencies and permissions all right all right then we will have uh, only one activity here that is main activity and inside that main activity we will uh, use the view pager adapter to display our two uh, uh, fragments using the view pager or you can say tab layout then we will uh, write the code in uh, one fragment that will be the record fragment and in the in that fragment we will try to record the uh, record the audio and then it will also contain uh, start recording stop recording and uh, pause the recording and many other things all right and also the other fragment that will show the saved files or the saved recordings so basically what we will do is we will first of all store them into our internal directory and also we will then store them in our sqlite database with the path of the files all right then we will create a recording service so basically we will record all these things uh, i mean we will record the audio in a service and then we will write the code for the start and stop recording inside our service okay so you will also learn how you can create the service and how you can uh, do things inside this service class then we will also as i showed you and i told you that we will use the sqlite database that is built in database for android and then we will uh, use and i will create the rec uh, recording item class and view uh, file viewer xml and many other th things okay so let me give you a demo so as i already have uh, have connected my phone with my laptop so i will show you the demo for it so here it is so when you will open it so you can see we have this record fragment and save recording all right then if we click on this uh, record button okay so yes you can see that this recording has been started and yes it is now recording and if i click on uh, stop and there you can see recording saved to blah 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 the link at the specified link so if we go back here you can see that we have uh, i will also show you how we can use the on the database change listener so whenever there is a, there is a change in the in the in the database sorry so we can show this inside our recycler view so if i click on that so there you can see all right so that was my previous audio so that is it okay so you will learn a, a lot of things and i will make sure that you understand whatever i am doing and i will explain you all these uh concepts all right guys so let me create a new project let's create a new project and here we name it as let me change the path and the path will be inside our e drive then we can say recording app tutorial then we can also name as our app as sound recorder pro 
all right now i will click on finish so you we will create the project so first of all what we will do is and the the first step is we need to add some dependencies okay so which dependency we are going to use uh, we will use some built-in depend dependencies like for example the secular view dependency then the card view dependency then we will use the floating action button uh, library then we will use the material tab strip library that is used for the tab layout then we will use the butter knife okay so butter knife is used as a very good library and you should include it in your all of your projects so you, basically you don't need to bind your views by using uh, find view by id rather you just uh, use this button knife to bind the views and it will make your code a bit a bit shorter and simpler then we will only use the uh, spot design library so let's get started so first of all we will go to file and you need to go to project structure then you need to go to app then we will click on dependencies and click on plus and click library dependency and first of all we will write card view dependency here make sure that you select this one card view version 7 28.0 then we need another dependency that will be recycle just write the cycle and you will see this is the recycler view then we need the sport design library and here you can see we have this sport design library included as well then we will use the sport yes make sure that you select this version 13 and you need to now click on ok so now basically the gradle will include all those libraries into our project the next thing is we need to include some other libraries so first of all we can write or i will show you let me go to my chrome browser and here you we can write this library i will uh, upload this uh, these links in my video description so you can easily get from there okay so basically it is for the floating action button and we will select we will just copy that and paste it here so instead of compile we will use implementation but we can use some library uh, version like 1.1.0 then we will use another library that is tab strip sorry the material tab strip so we can say and here we have this material tab strip library let me see where it is okay so that is the library you can see uh, the play store has the similar library here so we will just copy that and we will add it and we'll, let's add this dependency and make sure that you select 1.0.6 all right these two are the depend uh, the uh, libraries which we are going to use then we uh, need to use the butter knife library so for that we can go to chrome and write butter knife github and from there you can see we have this dependency here since it uses the java 8 so we need to downgrade our library version so here i will write this and instead of 10.1.0 we can easily use 8.6.0 all right so let's change it to 8.6.0 then we will use this point 
zero now you need to click on sync now and yes now all the dependencies has been successfully added the next step is we need to include the user permission so first of all we need to use record audio and the another user permission we need is write external storage and also read external storage okay guys so that is was the part one of my video series so i will uh, try to start a project in my next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye